So every day, you constantly have to prove yourself. Only but as good as your last at bat. You're proving yourself to yourself. Always remember that. Because the day that you wake up and you say, man, I'm already good on piano, I'm already good on guitar, I done wrote 50 songs, I don't need to write anymore, that's the day you're finished. Finished. Because the thing that keeps us as human beings going is creativity. The day that we lose that, we completely lose ourselves. So, so to your point, is it's just about each one, teach one, and constantly being inspired. And whenever someone told me no, it was always a motivation for yes. I couldn't agree more. I mean, you know, again, so many of you watch my content, only as good as your last at bat, chip on the shoulder. You know, like, I would say that I'm wired, I'm, I'm curious how, I don't, I'm surprised how much I do want, I like sticking it to the mark. I'm very competitive. Do you find yourself competitive? You have to be, Like naturally. You know, like to me, I, you know, I, I've talked a lot about loving to lose. I do, like, there's no, for some reason, Stefan, you know this when we play basketball in the morning, like, when I lose, I'm, I'm like, I'm like weird. I'm like, I like it. Like, I have like this, like there's a feeling that I wanna, it, it, it motivates me so much. I truly believe that the thing that separates so many people is people are scared of the no and the loss. There's, they think it's a scarlet letter and it, what that does is it makes them not go. You know, I love the way he said, when I get no's, I push through. For me, for me, my early childhood, to answer you directly, because two guys that like the philosophy, I love, I'll go right into it. My early childhood was probably my biggest adversity. I didn't have the same adversity of like being a minority or gender or things of that nature. I didn't have a whole lot of money, but the big thing that I had was I was getting D's and F's. So I was making $3,000 a weekend selling baseball cards in the malls in New Jersey. And, but I was getting D's and F's as a 13, 14 year old and everybody thought I was a loser. My teachers, my friends' parents because that's when school was the game. And so for me, I, like the market, the world was telling me I wasn't good and everything inside of me told me I was gonna be good. I don't think, if, I don't think you can win unless you love yourself first. And so I think you're right about it being a one-on-one -on -one game inside your own dome. And so for me, my adversity was early on because once I hit the market, once my entrepreneurial flair came out, my first year of running my dad's business, I grew it substantially. It was over before it started. So, you know, adversity, you know, I think the thing that's most interesting to me is if this company doesn't do well next year, if my next five investments don't do well, if my next prediction is that, you know, blah, blah, blah is gonna be huge and it isn't, well then I'm not as good anymore. I'm fascinated by the music industry. Three, four good albums in a row, iconic set, one bad album, one bad, like, it's amazing. You're just as good as your last at bat.